Igbo political and traditional rulers have not only failed in Debo, even our religious leaders has too. Due to the harshness of the economy of Nigeria, a country they made us belong because of their selfish political and religious interest, our youth are becoming victims of money-making rituals and all sorts of illegal activities. Those that couldn't handle the frustrations has resorted to the consumption of all manners of illegal substances, forcing them to belong to dangerous occultic kingdoms and perpetuating crimes in their desperate bid to change theirs and their families' hardship stories without considering the consequences. In overseas, our youth are the highest in times of those convicted of crime, and even in Nigeria, their supposed country, the trend is highly different. In their pretentious guise of rejecting Christianity and resorting to the ways of our ancestors, which is Omenani, younger generation of Igbos are now doing the unthinkable. And before you give Omenani a bad name, you should be able to differentiate between Omenani and perpetuating evil. Omenani, as was rightly described to us by our ancestors, is our tradition and culture, which is commonly known as our ways of life, whereas pursuit of money through fraud, drug trafficking, prostitution, and other illegal means is evil and satanic and was rejected by our ancestors even before the advent of Christianity. So those hiding under Omenane to perpetuate evil are simply mischievous as through Omenane exalts righteousness and reproaches evil, making money through Okite. When you see those that identify as Yahoo boys of nowadays spending money recklessly, their usual source of income is through the evil powers of Okite. They prepare these dangerous charms to conjure the spirit of their victim in order to extract their hard-earned money. They do not seem to understand that every charm prepared by a native doctor or spiritualist to attract wealth comes with dire consequences. Besides, this charm do not come cheap as it costs between the sum of 1.5 million to 2 million naira to prepare. Some native doctors even charge as high as 3 million nor more, nor enter into agreement with you to start sharing the proceeds of your income once the money starts flowing. It is believed that the charm is prepared with bats, other dangerous species of birds, pita herbs, root, and bark of some spiritual trees. They also use dog and human parts as they work directly with mortuary attendants to have easy access to human body parts, especially those that died via road accident. They also use women on the wheels. Similarly, Udrakon Mili is more like Okite as he takes the same process to prepare as they both perform the same duty. Another is known as Okawele, which is mainly used by transporters, traders, and even farmers to attract customers and make their crops excel. Another is known as Arabaka, which is considered the deadliest as the year shall never go by without the person it was prepared for not making serious money. Unfortunately, when people that acquire this money-making charm start showing off their ill-gotten wealth, we begin to tap into their grace and blessings, believing they are genuine without knowing the true source of their wealth. Besides, this wealth only gets them things like cars, house, lavish spending on women, and spraying of money at the event. Most times, the fortune doesn't last up to five years before they become severely broke again. Some of them even die off in a few years, mainly through frustrations and accidents. Now pay close attention. The after effects are usually far bigger than the wealth they offer you. Sometimes they take your family and loved ones from time to time as sacrifice and other times they seize your ability to produce children and even if you have managed to produce children before they prepare the charm for you, they will either start taking them for sacrifice or forbid them from reproducing in the future. Apart from this effect, you will never be able to have peace of mind as you spend the ill-gotten wealth. The ironic thing is, the native doctor that prepared these dangerous money-making charms will have you stand in his shrine and make the whole pronouncement, taking absolute responsibility for whatever consequences the charm would incur in the future, exonerating himself and family of any after effect. This is because they understand the dangers of the charm they are preparing for you and would not want it to backfire on their own family. This is the unfortunate situation most of our youth found themselves today. And if you want to get to the root of the problem, our political, traditional, and religious leaders should not be spared. They have created a dangerous society via their failure to utilize our common wealth in providing basic amenities and building industries as to provide job opportunities for the youth. Even the religious leaders are so focused on preaching prosperity in exchange for tight and seeds that they forgot that prosperity without purity is in shambles. 
We do like to hear your feedback about what you think should be done to safeguard the future of Ndebo. Please kindly leave your comment below and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.